Uh, good morning on this Thanksgiving morning. I apologize for the delay getting this out to you. So uh, I've pulled up an example and I actually worked it out. This is the ninth or tenth time I've tried to do this. I'm having technical issues. That aside, um, we're going to go through the problem that we had in class and then we'll come back and do this problem. So here's the problem we had in class. Uh, logarithm base 2 of 8x squared plus 64x plus 128. And the directions read, use the properties of logarithms to expand the following expression as much as possible. Simplify any numerical expressions that can be evaluated without a calculator. So first, the second sentence is basically saying write 8 fourths as the number 2 and write 3 squared as 9, etc. Uh, the first and main portion of the uh, directions uh, indicates that you should expand the following expression. So we have this expression that's a logarithm base 2 of some trinomial. This expression has a single term. Yes, the argument has three terms, but the expression itself is a single term, a logarithm. We want to write that in as many terms as possible, expanding it into multiple terms. Note that the answer in this particular case was 3 plus 2 logarithm base 2 of x plus 3. So there are two terms in the answer. So going back to uh, our original problem from class, and we ran out of time, uh, 8x squared plus 64x plus 128, the logarithm base 2 of that trinomial. So because I want to expand, I'm going to, uh, I know there are two properties that allow me to change a single logarithm and rewrite it as two logarithms being added, or in the case of the other one, subtracted. So this one I know is going to end up being um, an add situation because I'm gonna have the product of two factors. But first, let's figure out what those factors are. And how do we do that? Let's factor this trinomial. So first thing I'm gonna do is factor the greatest common factor, which is eight. That leaves me with x squared plus eight x plus 16 as my trinomial. Then I'm going to factor this trinomial to log base 2 of 8 times x plus 4, the quantity squared. Now I have two factors that form a product of which I'm taking the logarithm of. And that lets me or makes me think about, I was thinking about it before, as I mentioned, um, that there's a property where if I have the logarithm base a of x times y, I can rewrite that, or it's equivalent to logarithm of the same base of one factor plus the logarithm, same base, in this case two, oh, I'm sorry, these are a's, because this is my generic, of the other factor. So log base a of x plus log base a of y is equal to log base a of the product of those two. So using that property to rewrite my, our, our problem, our expression, I'm going to have log base 2 of 8 plus log base 2 of x plus 4, the quantity squared. So now I've rewritten that original expression as, the, as an expression with two terms. So now I'm thinking of a completely different property that allows me to rewrite the second term. So let's focus on the second term. Uh, the property is logarithm of some base of x raised to the r can be rewritten as r times the logarithm base a of x. You guys think of it as I'm allowed to write this down in front of the logarithm, creating this product of r, the exponent, times the original logarithm. Uh, less the exponent on the argument. So taking that into account, I can rewrite the first logarithm without any changes and the second logarithm as 2 times the logarithm base 2 of the quantity x plus 4. Now, I want to point out, notice how this a is not the same as this r. Again, this a is not the same as this r. So it's not a requirement that these two twos be the same. It is not a requirement for those two twos to be the same. It's just coincidental. So uh, with yellow now, I'm going to turn my attention to the first term because the second term is as 
expanded as I can write it. And so the second logarithm, excuse me, the first term uh, has to do with this property. Logarithm base a of a is equal to one. Or a more, uh, a more uh, general uh, version of this is, of this property's log base a of an argument that's a power of a is equal to the exponent on that power. Um, if I think of this as uh, in terms of exponential equa equations instead of logarithmic equations, I'm going to convert this so we can prove so I can prove to you or talk to you about why this is the same as this. And we did this in class, but I'm just reiterating. Um, if I take the base of the logarithm, raise it to its exponent, it should be equal to the argument. And it is, because that argument actually has an exponent of 1, which we're just not writing. Now, if I do it for the second one, you'll see the same thing occurs. a raised to the exponent is equal to the argument. And we get the same thing. So because these two are equal, the original equations were equal as well. So let's rewrite this guy. Problem is, is note that let's uh, get rid of all this clutter. Note that note that my eight is not a power, and it doesn't have the base this the same as the logarithm itself. Notice a power with base a, a power with base a. So can we write the number eight in the terms? Can we rewrite eight? as a power with the base of two. And of course, most of you are ahead of me. Yes, we can, we can write it as the number two cubed. So I'm gonna rewrite this whole thing with this new argument. So it is a little more clear possibly. Rewrite that second term without making any changes because we didn't change anything. And then we're going to actually use the property to write this first term as the number three, which is the exponent and we are going to end up with our answer. So that's our answer for the problem that we had in class. Now, to turn our attention to the new problem that Hawks has given us, let's look at it. First, let's copy it down. Log base two of eight x squared plus 48 x plus 72. And let's factor the trinomial. Log base two greatest common factor left with this trinomial, oops, this trinomial, uh, what am I doing here, nine. And then we're gonna factor the trinomial, log base two. I'm gonna write this as the power at base two, x plus three, x plus three, and of course that can be written as the square of a binomial. And now I can use some logarithmic properties to expand this expression. So first we rewrite the expression and then uh, we can expand it. So log base two of two cubed plus log base two of x plus three squared. And one last term, this can be written as the number three. Oh yeah, I've done this, okay. And then this can be written with the exponent being multiplied times the logarithm with the base with no exponent, okay? And so when we type that in, we get a you got it, and it's correct. Uh, hopefully that was helpful.